Hello, today I'm going to show you how can you filter some items from your product backlog. For that purpose, I will choose my project first, and then I will go, I will choose boards, and in boards, I will choose backlogs. Okay, you can see in my backlog when it will be shown up in my screen in a moment, I hope. Okay, loading, 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 loading. Okay, let me refresh it. So, when, uh, okay, I have here epics, yeah, here you can see epics. First of all, let me choose the stories. If I choose stories, then I will be able to filter among stories and children uh, uh, below the stories, which are tasks. But if I want to make a filter, for example, for the whole backlog, then it is the best solution to choose epic because epics are the more let's uh, let's say in hierarchy in hierarchy they are at the top level so i will choose epics okay now you see i have epics and if i go here i can see features and user stories and tasks and so on and so on so those are uh, sorted by order. Let's say that I want, for example, to filter, okay, all user stories and all tasks which are not in the sprint but only in backlog. What, I, what do I mean by that? You can see here that I have for billing, billing goods, uh, this is Epic, this is feature, this is user story, that this one is in Sprint 2, this one is Sprint 2, this one is Sprint 2, this is in Sprint 1 and Sprint 1, this one is not in the Sprint at all. So, okay, so let's say that I want to put this one in Sprint 2. I will go here and I will say, okay, go to let's say, current sprint, sprint four. Okay, great. Now, this is in, in sprint four. Now, you can see, I have, once again, epic, I have feature, and I have some user stories, and also I have tasks, which are not currently in the sprint, and some which are. So I will say, I want to see in my backlog, which user stories and tasks are not in any sprint? I will go here in filter. If I go here in filter, what can I do? First of all, I will say, I will click on types and I will say, give me only user stories and tasks. You will see I have user stories and tasks. Okay, and then I will say, give me those one which are not in any iteration. So, for that, I will not choose Sprint 1, Sprint 4, Sprint 2, ERP, I will, I will, uh, or current iteration, which is Sprint 3, I will choose ERP project. And if I go here, I will see all user stories and tasks which are not in current sprint, so I can decide what I want to do with them. And I will say, okay, which of them are assigned to me? Okay, only one user story. Okay, which of them are assigned to Mary? N there is no such a thing. To John, no such a thing. To Paula, no such a thing, etc., etc. So I can now say, okay, which are of them in new state? Or which of them are in ready state, or which of them are in new and active state. So I can combine those filters, okay, I will say new and active state, okay, here. Okay, if I go now back to sprints, for example, just for example, if I jump out and I go to backlog here, what will I see? I will see the same filtered items as I left them. 
So if you want to clear the filter to see all your items, what you can do, you can go here, okay, and if you go here, you will see it's filtered. If you go here and click on filter, you will just turn off this view, okay, like you hit it here. But if you want to see them all, you should go and turn those filters here. So let me go uh, once again through this and let me sh show you. I will say I want task and user stories, which are in state active and new, and which are in ERP. Okay, now I have them. Okay, if I go here and click, I will clear and dismiss filters. Okay, so that is the best way. If I want to get rid of filters, I can click here. If I click here, I will not get rid of filters. I will just get rid of this part of screen, but filter will remain. So here, you can see the filter is here, here, or uh, uh, again, I can see which items are filtered on, uh, on which conditions. So here, task and user story, active and new, and for ERP projects. So I can, for example, I have two ways to, for, for the end of this story, to get rid of the filters. First of all, we go here, clear and dismiss filter, and all filters are going to be disappeared. And I can go here and to each and every filter column and click on clear. Clear, clear, and I will get everything back here. If I, ju if I wa once again go and put filters like I did, task and user stories, states active and new, iteration ERP projects, and if I want to clear it in a simple way, I will click here, and once again, I will get all. So this is the way which, in which you can uh, uh, filter your items. One, uh, one hint. If you have custom field, okay, custom field, and if you put it on the screen, okay, I, I think I don't have custom field, or I have, let me see. Oh, I remember I have one. I'll, it's risk description, risk description, okay, and if I add it here, okay. You see I have here risk description. It is empty, but who cares? Now I want to filter, okay? I can filter on types, on assign to, on, st on states, on tags, on iteration, on area, but I cannot filter on custom field. So if you want to make a filter on some other fields which are not shown here, especially if you want to make a filter on custom field, this is impossible. But I can have a short filter. For example, here, if I put billing, b -i -l -l, okay, everything which has b, b, b i l l will be shown, or n e n a d, everything we, which have uh, which has nenat here will be shown. But if I want to uh, 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 to uh, make a filter on specific specific field beside types assigned to stage, tax iteration, and area, it is not possible. So, hope this helps. Thank you very much. See you soon.